Have you ever seen star args or double star KW args while vibe coding? Or browsing Python documentation? Are you ever wondering what this syntax means? In a nutshell, writing a function definition that includes star args and double star KW args allows us to call the function with a flexible number of arguments. Okay, but why does this matter? And what's the difference between star args and double star KW args? Let's break it down with a simple example. Consider a simple function that displays a customer's T order. For now, this function will take two arguments, the name of the customer and the type of T they ordered. Using these inputs, the function prints out the order. Calling the function with Alice as the customer name and chamomile as the t-type, prints out Alice's order. The function works great, but notice that it requires exactly two arguments, no more, no less. This can be an issue if an order is more complicated. For example, Bob might want to order a black tea and add a splash of oat milk. However, if we call the t-order function with three arguments, Python throws an error, since the function was defined to only accept two. We could make our function more flexible by adding the optional parameter milk in the header and printing it if milk is a part of the customer's order. Written this way, our function does accommodate Alice's order with its two arguments and Bob's order with three. But what about Tony, who wants the same order as Bob with the addition of a spoonful of honey. To accommodate Tony's order, we would need to repeat what we did earlier, add an optional parameter, and conditional statement. Clearly, this approach doesn't scale very well. Ideally, we would like our function to support any number of order extras without having to constantly modify it. That's where star args comes in. Instead of endlessly listing optional parameters and writing conditional checks, we can simply write star args in place of the optional parameters. By adding star args, we're telling Python that the function can accept any number of positional arguments after the customer name and t-type. More precisely, the star operator tells Python, collect any extra positional arguments into a tuple called args. For example, in the function call for Tony's order, the strings oat and honey will be collected into the tuple args. Let's verify this by printing args during the execution of the function. As expected, during the function call for Tony's order, args is a tuple containing oat and honey. For Bob's order, the args tuple contains only oat. And for Alice's order, the args tuple is empty. Super flexible, right? Our function now handles an arbitrary or flexible number of extra positional arguments. And the value of those extra arguments are conveniently stored in a tuple. This means that to print the details of an order, we can simply loop through the items in args and display each one. Running the code again, we can see that every order is displayed with its corresponding extras. Finally, we want to emphasize that in the star args syntax, the star operator is doing the heavy lifting. This operator is what tells Python to pack the extra positional arguments into a tuple called args. Args is simply a variable name. While it is common to use the name args, we could use a different name like extras instead. After replacing args with extras in the header and the body of the function, our code works just as before. That's great, but there's one limitation with our current approach. When we look at Bob's order, we can see he wants oat, but does he want oat milk or oat creamer in his tea? The function call would be clearer if we labeled each extra with its intended use. When we specify the parameter name and its associated value in a function call, we're using keyword arguments as opposed to positional arguments. All right, 
this looks good, but we have a problem. As soon as we call the function for Bob, Python throws an error. This is because star extras only handles positional arguments, but not keyword arguments. This is where double star kw args comes to the rescue. Let's see how this works by replacing star extras with double star kw args in the header. Since we removed extras, let's also delete the associated for loop. Just like star args collects extra positional arguments into a tuple, double star kw args collects extra keyword arguments into a dictionary called kw args. This dictionary's keys are the keywords like milk and sweetener, and Tony's function call. And the dictionary's value are the argument values and Tony's example, oat and honey. To verify this, let's print kw args and call the function for Tony. Great, that's what we expected. Since kw args is a dictionary, we can loop through its key value pairs to display each extra with its label. Running this code, we see that Tony's order is now displayed with clear labels for each extra. To see how this works for the other orders, let's uncomment their function calls. Notice that Alice's order works perfectly fine even though we didn't pass any keyword arguments for her. In this case, kw args is simply an empty dictionary. Similar to star args, the double star operator is what does the work here. KW args is just a variable name that programmers commonly use. But we could use any name. It really doesn't make a difference. Awesome, so far we've seen how to make our function accept a flexible number of positional or keyword arguments. But to make our function even more flexible, we can use both together. When using star args and double star KW args together, star args must come first. To display the extra positional arguments, we'll rewrite the for loop iterating through args. Let's see how this works by modifying Tony's function call to pass both types of extra arguments. In this call, oat is passed as a positional argument and gets packed into args, while sweetener equals honey is a keyword argument that gets packed into kw args. When we run the code, we see that Tony's order displays both. Oat, which was printed during the execution of the positional argument loop, and sweetener honey, printed during the execution of the keyword arguments loop. Now let's uncomment all three function calls to see how our flexible function handles orders of varying complexity. Perfect! Alice's simple order works with no extra arguments, Bob's order works with just a keyword argument, and Tony's order works with both types. Before we wrap up, let's clarify an important rule. When calling a function, you must always pass positional arguments before keyword arguments. If we try to call the function with sweetener equals honey before oat, Python objects. This ordering requirement, positional arguments before keyword arguments, applies both when defining function parameters and when calling the function. Awesome. So far, we've used the star operators in function definitions to pack extra arguments into a tuple or a dictionary. But interestingly, the star operators can also be used to do the opposite when used in a function call. In that context, these operators unpack collections, like tuples and dictionaries, into separate arguments. For example, suppose we receive a new order from Eve for green tea. Since she is a frequent customer, her extras are already stored in a tuple. To print Eve's order, we could manually write out each item in the tuple as a positional argument, but that's tedious. Instead, we can simply unpack the tuple into separate positional arguments by writing star Eve's extras. Running the code, we see that both calls generate the same output, but using the star operator is much more concise and convenient. 
Similarly, if Eve's extras were stored in a dictionary, we could manually write out each key value pair as a keyword argument, but again, that's tedious. Instead, we can simply unpack the dictionary into separate keyword arguments by writing double star Eve's extras. Running the code, both calls generate the same output, but the double star operator is cleaner and quicker. In summary, the behavior of the star operators depends on where they are used. In function definitions, they pack, and in function calls, they unpack. When working in Python, you'll see star args and double star kw args used in many popular libraries, like matplotlib, and in some design patterns like Python decorators. But when you write your own code, use these operators only where you really need flexibility. If you know in advance what arguments a function will need, use explicit parameters. We're working on lots more Python explainer videos like this one, so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out. And if you have any questions or topics that you'd like to learn about, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching!